Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with the Dean Keats fan club chairman himself, Mr. Oh, Joseph. What are you talking about? Why do you always come out with something like that? Joseph Massey. Uh, but I'll be on Walsall too. It doesn't matter what competition it is, Joe. They keep, they keep on doing the business. Just win games, don't we? That's just, what Walsall do now. Win games. Keep win on games. winning games. Don't lose, yeah. Amazing. Doesn't matter who it is. Doesn't matter. Bring them on. Absolutely. Bring them on. Bring them on. Another good performance. I mean, yes, the scoreline might look a little bit tighter, but it was pretty comfortable, wasn't it? Yeah, that 2 1 does flatter Burton a little bit. I mean, they were their most dangerous in the last three minutes of the game <laughs> they? They, yeah. few, they scored in the 90th minute um in also not adverse to conceding towards the end no of the game, that is an they? issue Dean Keats is going to have to sort that out there has been a lot of late goals all season mm. um that is an issue they do have to work on I don't think it's sort of fitness at all I don't think it's anything no. to do with that I think it's just maybe a little bit of composure it was a young side tonight average age of the team tonight um, I'm going to say 24 21.6. Wow, was that start from Dean Keats himself? Oh, yeah, okay, very good. Out on the hotel on the way up, so very must, young must, side. Must, must have been bored this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> 21.6, average age of the side, and they bossed it. They did, they're really good, uh, weren't they? They bossed it very, very, very comfortable. Um, deservedly 2 0 up. Yeah. Um, like we said, Burton scored in the 90th minute. They had actually a couple of chances in stoppage time. Three minutes went up. Mm. Jake Hesketh had a go from the edge of the box. Another lad, I've forgotten his name. Oh, yeah. if they'd got up in a shot, that would have been a disgrace. Oh, horrific. Absolutely horrific. Um, so yeah, very very convincing performance from a young side of the side. Plenty of impressive performances all over the park, mm. but I'm sure we'll get onto those now. Absolutely, two good goals as well. Two very good goals. Yeah, yeah really good goals. Give me, give me Kieran Morris stat. Nick from um, Nick from Nick Briggs. N Nick from Daniel Briggs. Kieran Morris has now scored in three on three consecutive Tuesdays. Three that consecutive is a, a Daniel Tuesdays. Briggs start that is. That You're not is even proper. looking for it. No one else is no. looking for that start. No, Briggs just comes out with an absolute pearl. Just comes out with pearl. Yeah. So three consecutive Tuesdays. I mean, he is in fantastic form. Mm. Um, we had a story on the Express the Star website today. Plug. Plug. Um, nicely plugged that. Yeah, I like Kieran it. Morris talking about how competition for places is kicking him on. I mean, I saw him on Friday. I asked him outright, look, you were playing last season. You're basically playing every week. You know mm. you're in the team. Mm -hmm -hmm. Now, you're not necessarily in the team. Exactly. You've been on the bench. Josh Janelli, Zelius Smile have had an outstanding start to mm. the season, a pair of them. And Kieran admitted, yes, he, he needed that push. He really has. He needs that sort of competition for places. And he has responded. He scored two Thunderbolts and he's got another good goal tonight absolutely but talk about probably the goal of the night was the second goal Josh Gordon finished it off but it was it was beautiful from start to finish um, fantastic goal Kieran Morris gets a shout out again he sort of spread it out wide to the right and Nicky Devlin and oh my goodness blitzed, skinned absolutely blitzed who needs a Damatore well. absolutely yeah exactly yeah, you yeah. know what I mean is he <laughs> Damatore of League One so fast yeah. and he left it I mean he was about six yards behind him I thought at one yeah. stage and he's absolutely flown past him and then he sent in the most superb I mean, ball begging you, to be taken then, isn't it? You would have at least hit the post. Even it was I that would easy. Have, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so, yeah, and John, Josh Gordon rushing in in the right place, taps yeah. it in, can't really miss really from there, could he? Because it was such a good cross from Nicky no, Devlin. But but good, good for him, you know, as back up to the front two at the moment, but, but scoring goals, and he's got a couple now, happy days. It's not, Morgan Ferrier spoke in the past about how sometimes it's difficult when you sign for a club and you not, you don't go straight into the team, you've yeah. got to wait for your chance, and that is, that sure. is difficult because you are bedding in. But whenever he's played now, whenever he's started, he's scored, he's scored against Macclesfield, he's scored tonight. Look, He's going to have to be patient. Cook and Ferrier are going to be the front two, you'd imagine, um, for the foreseeable future. But he's 23 years old. He's a young lad. He signed a three-year deal. Time is on his side. He's a developing player. Mm -hmm. He's going to have a big part to play in the season. And he's coming in and scoring goals, which is going to be massive for his confidence. Three debutants tonight. Two, two from Wolverhampton Wanderers. Two Connors. How do you think they did? Very, very well. Impressed, weren't you? Yeah, I was very impressed. Hey. You, were, were you impressed? Oh, I was. Uh, uh, they're, they're, they're dream boats. Both dream dream, <laughs> dream boats. boats. Especially the centre of the park. One man in particular. Connor Ronan's so brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, excellent and um, what a tidy footballer he is mm. um, he's, he's not the biggest um, but he's just technically very very good isn't he, yeah. he just keeps he just the way I mean a couple of crossfield balls during that game were just you don't see it that often in league one he's a really really good passer ball very neat and tidy wants the ball doesn't he wants the ball never highs mm. does he always looking for it happy to receive it in really tight areas yeah. which again isn't what of, often the case in league one mm. he will take that ball anywhere so he, I thought he was really, really good tonight. And um, Connor Johnson, I mm. thought, was excellent. Yeah, he was, yeah. Um, he's a big lad. I mean, we weren't quite sure what to expect. First time we've seen him. But Young think, lad and big lad. Young lad and big oh, lad. Seven? I think he's 17 or 18. I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah. he's, um, he's got that stature. Him and Jack yeah. Fitzwater. Poor. Oh. You look at them, and they are, they're are they young, but they are big lads. Yeah. Um, and I thought they were excellent to get they together were. tonight. Talking throughout. They've, I mean, Fitzwater has just been a revelation, really, mm. for, since he's come back. Um, Really, really solid performance from Johnson, who, yeah, he did exactly what you'd want from him, really. Very, yeah. very steady. Yeah, and the other lad at left back as well did okay. Left back, Kane Wilson. Kane Wilson. Uh, yeah, Kane Wilson, um, yeah, 
he's normally a right back, so that was an interesting one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he was in the left back tonight. Did very well again. Yeah, mm -hmm. power, pace. He's got a lot about him. He's really strong in the tackle. Right. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, Keats has said how proud he is of the players there. He singled out Jordan Sanger as well in central midfield, yeah. did really well. And he does keep saying it, he's proud of them, but every player who's coming out at the minute is putting in an absolute shift. Mm. Every player is performing, and that's, that's all he can be is proud because everyone's doing the job for him. And like you say, competition for places is essential, and if you are going to have a good season, that's exactly what you need. Yeah, and it's massive tonight, so many players have been rested, I mm. think. I mean, Keats has alluded to it there, they were lackluster on Saturday, they did look a bit tired, that pace of thought, pace of movement just wasn't there on Saturday against Blackpool. They dug in, mm. they, they didn't lose the game, which is massive, I think, they, did, yeah. they weren't the best, but they didn't lose. So I think it was really important tonight, like Sir George Dobson, who's putting everything in every sure. game. I mean, it, it's, been, it's been a great... Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. But they've got a break now, haven't they, from, from Tuesday games, which no is which more is Tuesday important. games, yeah, in September, so I think it was, I mean, you look at that bench and it was incredibly strong tonight, yeah. but... It was massive for, um, for them not to be needed. For, for not, yeah, for them to get that rest, mm. and now they can they'll be fresh on Saturday, and then it's Saturday, Saturday, Saturday now, isn't it? So they can do some work on the training ground and rest up in the week. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah and look, they've had a fantastic start to the season, but Barnsley away, that's going to be a real test, isn't it? Yeah, Barnsley. Uh, <laughs> Never Barnsley. forget the last trip there. Uh, All that whole season, oh, you're like I remember that loving day. it, and it's 46 yeah. games, and you're third in the league, and then you get tonked three-one in the first yeah, leg of the play. It's a weird feeling that was because you, you work so hard, the whole season's then and in a blink of an Deflation. eye it's finished mm -hmm. isn't it, you, mm -hmm. you're, not, you're not ready for it and yeah I mean they're, they're, look, they're one of the favourites aren't they, they're one of the favourites for a title, they're going to be strong, they're going to be up there all season I mean. But they'll come here, they'll go there and they'll go and have a go won't they and they're playing with fuller confidence and why not? And they're organised, they are so so organised, yeah. that was the big thing tonight, it's, it's a different team, eight changes but they, it's still the same shape, it's still the same discipline, all those players out there know exactly what's expected of them in their roles. Warsaw will go to Barnsley on Saturday, they'll be organised, they'll be disciplined, they'll have, they've got attacking players haven't they, with Ismail, Ginelli, Cook, Ferrier, Dobson as well, so they're going to give it a go, of course they're going to give it a go, they've given it a go in every game this season, so if they could get a result there, I mean it would just be, it would be lovely for Sadler's fans because they deserve a result there. Absolutely, I mean Joe will be at Oakwell on Saturday, but tonight Burton 1, Warsaw 2, for all the post-match reaction, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.